Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crochet's Creed. I know it's been a minute, but I am back, and today I'm going to be doing a redo of the Umbrella Corporation pillow. Now, in all honesty, I'm not a thousand percent satisfied with how this project has turned out. Um, I promised to do a redo of this, so that's why I'm making this video, but I think in the future I'm going to make something different involving the Umbrella Corporation, but it may not be um, specifically a pillow. But I am posting this in case somebody does like it, does like the redo, and they can make it on their own in their own time. But I'm not a thousand percent happy with how everything has turned out, but this is a redo. So with that being said, the materials that you will need are red yarn. You will also need black yarn and white yarn. That is all the yarn you'll need for this project. You will also need, and the only needle you'll need for this project is a 4.5, come on, focus, a 4.5 millimeter hook. You will also need a yarn needle and some scissors and of course some pillow stuffing. And I'm fairly sure, yeah, that's it. All right, let's get started. All right, so now with this, you're going to be starting out and you're gonna be making triangles and you'll only be using red and white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the white triangles. All triangles are made the same. Um, and all triangles are made the same, they're just different colors. So you're gonna take your 4.5 millimeter hook and your white yarn and you're gonna make a slip knot. So you're gonna make your slip knot there. And you're gonna take your 4.5 millimeter hook and you are going to chain 10. So you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now you're going to single crochet after you change your 10, you're going to single crochet back down that row. So you're going to go, I don't know why it's not focusing. Come on. You're going to go back into that next stitch and you're going to do a single crochet, that next stitch, single crochet, and you're going to single crochet down the entire row. All right, now that we've single crocheted, that I call our starting row. This is just how I like to do my stuff. That to me is the starting row. Now we are starting on row one. So for row one, at every, remember at the beginning of every row, chain one. So you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. So now we're, we're working in the back. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into that stitch right there. Make sure you don't go on the next one. Go into the stitch directly under the chain that you did. And you're going to pull up a loop. You're going to go into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all three to make a decrease. Now you're going to do a decrease in the beginning and the end of the row and you should have five single crochet in between. So now we're gonna go into that next stitch and just do a single crochet. So that's five, four, three, two, and one. So that's our five single crochet. And you're gonna go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, Gonna go into that last stitch. I don't know if you can see that. If my camera will focus, please. On that last stitch right there at the very end. I'm gonna pull through that, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So now you have your decrease at the end. So that is for row one. A decrease in the beginning and end of the row, five single crochet in between. Now after that, you're gonna chain one, 
I'm sorry for the background noise. It's hot here. I've got two air conditioners on and my cat is trying to catch a fly. So if you hear anything, that's her. So you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn your work again. Now for row two, rows two through five, you are just going to chain one and single crochet in every stitch across. Right. Now for rows, these are my rows so far. So you wanna to try to mold it, but this is what it looks like so far. So I've done my rows two through five, and now we're on row six. Remember to chain your one. I've already chained my one. And you're gonna turn your work. Excuse me. And so now again, for row six, you are going to do a decrease again. So you're gonna go into that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those for your decrease. Now you should have four single crochet in between before you get to that last decrease. And this row is kind of tricky, so I want to make sure I show this. So you've got four, that's your single crochet, that's your first single crochet. Go on the next stitch, do another single crochet, that's your third one. This is your second one. And this is your last one. So you've got four single crochet. So what you want to do is you want to go into that next stitch, that last stitch. What in the world is that? That next stitch, but I want to make sure I explain this if it's going to show. You see that stitch? Uh, why is it showing? You see that stitch right here? You're going to go through that, if I can get it. You're going to go through that side stitch there. So just on the very end. And you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, and pull through all three. So you will be going in the side loop right here. And I'll show that again just to make sure. Oh, I already, already undid my single crochet. So that's a single crochet. So for the decrease, you're going to go into that loop, pull up a loop. You're going to go into that side stitch right there on the very side of it, right here. Pull up, oh, come on now. Go into that side stitch there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And that will complete row six. So just so it makes it a little tighter. That's for row six. Now you're gonna chain one, turn your work. And for rows seven through 10, you are going to single crochet in every stitch across. Remember to chain your one, and you're gonna do, for rows seven through 10, single crochet across. All right, so this is what we're working with so far. So I've done my rows seven through 10. I wish I didn't have this little piece here. I don't know where that came from, but this is your rows seven through 10. So this is what it's gonna to start to form into. Now for row 11, you're going to chain your one and you're going to turn your work and you're going to do another decrease. So start out, going to do a decrease and that those first two stitches, remember a decrease takes up two stitches. So you do your decrease and then you should have a single crochet and the next two stitches. So go into that next stitch, yarn over and do a single crochet Go into that next stitch, yarn over, do a single crochet, and in that very last stitch, you're going to do a decrease. I need backup, girl. And that is for row 11. So we ended on a decrease. Let me bug on me. We ended on a decrease for row 11. You're going to chain your one, turn your work again. And for rows 12 through 15, you're going to single crochet across and chain your one. So chain one, single crochet across for rows 12 through 15. All right, now, now that we see that it's starting to form, I've done my 12 through 15. It was pretty quick because, you know, we only have a little bit left to work with. And you're going to chain one, and we're about to end it off. So for rows, we did rows 12 through 15. So for row 16, what you're going to do is you're going to go into that stitch under the, the stitch attached to your thing go under that and do a decrease again a 
that's your first decrease and you're going to go into I don't know if you can see that that next stitch and the last stitch the last two stitches and do a decrease so for row 16 you should just do two decreases and then you're going to chain one and turn your work now for the last row row 17 you're just going to go into that stitch that you see it's pretty big now go into that stitch go into that next stitch and do a decrease and that is for row 17 just do one decrease chain one and yarn off and you can sort of it's going to be black you're going to um sort of join these triangles together and it'll look a little bit pointy i know it doesn't look as pointy but this is your triangle now i'm gonna if i want to cut this off yeah i'll use it for something so i'm gonna cut this off now because we're making and i can show you i guess the oh this is huge <laughs> i'll have to show you a little bit you'll only be able to see the side for right now but from what you see from right here, um, you're making both sides of the pillow. Or if you want to, well, that might be too more, more complicated. What I did was I made both sides. So I have the triangles on this side and the triangles on that side. So what you want to do is you're going to make eight of these, eight white and eight in red. Um, eight for one side, eight for the other side. So in total, you should have 16, let me see here, is this even? You should have a total of 16, um, eight that are red, eight that are white. And well, for one side of the pillow, I have to lift my camera up and I will in a little bit. For one side of the pillow, you should have four, four red, four white. And you're, so you're going to make eight white, eight red. So after you're done with that, I'm going to make a couple just to show you a, a baseline of how to join them. And um, then I'll come back and tell you how to add them. I do want to uh, have a disclaimer here that there are going to be a lot of tails that you're going to have to sew in. But realistically, part of it, you're because you're joining it into a pillow, the back part of it doesn't really need to look that great because it's going to be in the inside of the pillow and no one's going to see. But just make sure that because you're doing so many of these, and I would also recommend before you start adding the triangles together to sew off these ends because you're going to have this end and you're going to have this end and you're going to have a lot of them. It's going to be a lot of triangles. I would sew in these ends first and then I would start adding the triangles together. Uh, before you attach it to the pillow because once you start adding them and attaching it with the I'm sorry hold on I'm sorry <laughs> once you start adding the black to the triangles it's gonna be um, a lot more things for you to sew in a lot of loose ends to sew in because you're adding so many different triangles to one another but let me make a couple I think I'll make maybe two I'll make one more of these and two two of the red and then I'll come back and show you how to join everything together. Um, also something, actually, let me pull my camera up so you can see. Give me one moment. All right, so I've made my triangles. So like I said, what you wanna do before you start adding your triangles together, you want to sew these ends off. Now, I'm not going to do that because after this, I'm going to unravel it and use it for something different. So I'm not going to sew them in. Just make sure you sew your loose ends to all of your triangles. You're going to have a lot of them and then start joining. So what you want to do to join them is you have two sides. You have this side, which is the front facing side. And then you have, wait, did I have that backwards? And this is the back side. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But what you want to do when you join your triangles together is make sure that when you join them, you have both front sides, which side is this? Both front sides facing out. So this is the front side to the white. This is the front side to the back. Make sure that when you're sewing them together, make sure the fronts are facing out on both sides. So what I like to do 
is I'm gonna put this in put that out so I'm gonna turn it like this now you're gonna get your black yarn and this is now just joining the triangles together I'm gonna get your black yarn and still your 4.5 millimeter hook and you're gonna make a slip knot Now, once you make your slip knot, you're gonna insert your hook and you're gonna take those two triangles. And I start at the base. So I'm gonna, you're gonna go into the bottom stitch of the red. Oh, get out of my way. And the bottom stitch, don't worry about that because that'll be sewn in, but the bottom stitch of the white. You're gonna take your black yarn and you're gonna yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and do a single crochet. Okay, now you're gonna do another one, do a single crochet in that same stitch just to make it line up. So you're gonna go through both the red and the white, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and do a single crochet, okay? Now you're just gonna single crochet down the line. Now every stitch isn't gonna be even, so if you get to a certain part of it and it doesn't look right or it's too much space, go back in and just do another single crochet so that it won't look so spaced out. So like for this one, if I could get it out, now that's uh, that has enough space, I feel. So I'm gonna go in. Now see that, see how there's a lot of space? For spaces where you feel like it's too much space, or too big of a space, go in and just put another single crochet in. Because it's not always gonna be even and this will not affect how um, the triangles turn out. So just single crochet in black and make sure that they're tight and they're even against one another and just single crochet up the side of your triangles. Now I'm gonna off camera, just continue to single crochet up it, and we're gonna stop at the very point, and then I'll show you to do it from, I'll show you what to do from there. All right, now this is what I have so far. We've got the black single crochets on the side, and I've reached the peak of both triangles. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go through Keep going through and doing your single crochets. And you're gonna go through to the top to the peak and try to get to the very top of the triangles as best you can. Now when there's no more stitches available, cause see I'm, I'm about to go back on the other side of it. You want to yarn over, do a single crochet and do another single crochet in that stitch just to make it a little pointed like that. And when you open it up, you'll have this. So what you're gonna continue to do is add on your triangles as I've showed you. So because we're at the top, and this is a little tip, because we're at the top, at the peak, but you won't be able to do this every single time. When you're at the top, you can just take your next triangle, which I will show, you could take your next triangle, attach it, make sure, like I said again, they're facing outwards. So both parts, both parts of the triangle, this is the front of the front of each, they're facing outward, and you press them together like we just did, and single crochet back down. Now when you get back down here, there's no really way, I mean, you could, you really have to end it here if you start joining them like this. Um, if you start, so basically we started out with one, this is the second one, this is the third one, and we're starting at the top. You can single crochet back down, but after that, which I will show, you have to end it because you could single crochet across and then start up the back one, but because the border, which is this, is an all black, you don't want it overlapping. So once you get back down, um, you're gonna have to yarn off and then join the next triangle in the first way that I showed you and go to the top, you know, so, but I'll still, I'll show you guys because that may have... All right, so I have my next triangle and we're already at the peak. 
we're at the peak of this. So, oh, there's so many strings. Come on. All right, so now you're gonna go and just continue single crocheting down, back down this side now. So you can see it sort of start to form here. bigger and you're just going to single crochet in black all the way back down to the end Ooh, come on all the way back down to the end And make sure, like I said, you have the the uh, triangles pressed up together and they're even together, just to make it easier for you. And remember, like I said, when you're pushing these in together, make sure that if you have ones that are too big of a gap or too big of a hole to just go back in and do another single crochet, just to make sure it doesn't look too gappy when you spread it out. Boy, these things are giving me grief. Come on. Ah. All right, now because this sort of, no, that's fine. I thought it gave me a too big of a gap. Ooh, help me. All right, there we go. Now I'm almost back to the beginning. Now this has a really big hole here, so I am, see that hole there? I'm gonna go back in and do another single crochet just to sort of close that up. Because when you turn it, you'll see. So we get to the end. So I've got a little hole of my, where we started our slip knot. You're gonna go back through those and you're gonna do a single crochet and you're gonna go back in that same stitch and do another single crochet, all right? now. So far what you've got when you open it up is it's starting, slowly starting to form. Now again, like I said, because we ended at the very end here, if you start, when you start joining your triangles on and you get to the very end here, you're gonna make, wanna yarn off and then join your next triangle, which you're in white, make sure you have red, make sure that they're outer facing, you press them together and you're gonna start like I did from the from the very beginning of the this, you're gonna start from the bottom and work your way up. Once you get up here and you get to the peak, you're gonna um, single crochet twice, an increase, a single crochet increase at the very top, just to make it more pointed and go in more. Now, once you're at the top of this with your triangles and you single crochet up all of the top, you can add your next triangle and you can single crochet back down. But once you hit down here, you can't continue. You have to yarn off and continue to add your triangles like that. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just just um, put it in the comments um, and I'll be happy to assist you. But um, that's all it really is. Um, you can join it. You join it from the bottom, work your way up. Make sure you do that increase at the peak, work your way back down to the end, but you're gonna have to yarn off. Now, every one of these isn't gonna have a peak because if you go back down here, you single crochet back down here and you reach the end, you're gonna have to start with the next one. So this, well, I guess it will in a way. When you single crochet up, you do your double, your increase, and then you join again and go back down. So you just wanna make sure that when you reach the end, the, the bottom of the pillow that you yarn off, join it and start from the bottom and single crochet at the top. Once you reach the peak, you can join your next triangle, single crochet back down. But remember when you hit the bottom, you're gonna have to, re to start over and add your triangles. And I just wanna make sure that I'm clear with that. So after you're done, this is what it's starting to, starting to look like. But because you're gonna be joining all of your triangles, um, 
you're going to get a hit a point and make sure you're doing it you're variating the colors you're going to hit a point where you have one more triangle and you're going to have to join this is what the inside looks like and you're going to have to join one more triangle to two pieces which you would just again press it join one side and then press the other side together and join it back together if that makes sense so what i mean by that is say this white triangle is our last triangle we have this joined we have that joined this is the last triangle that we have to join you do it just how we've been doing it you put them press them together press them together single crochet up single crochet up and then oh i did that wrong single crochet up and then you would take the other side which you would be completely closing this side and put it together like that and single crochet up and you would complete um this side of the um pillow and it will start it will look like this the circle thing uh, can i raise this hold on give me one moment it will be cupped and it won't be flat but don't worry about that when you're done with it it'll be a lot of strings it'll look kind of fugly to be perfectly honest but it will cup up like this and you want to push it out as much as you can mold it out but it's going to curve upwards just make sure that you sew in your ends all these ends you want to make sure they're all sewed in and at the very peak right here is what you're going to have to worry the most about so make sure you sew in all your ends once you've sewn in your ends this is good what this is not going to be closed at all so after you sew in both of your ends you're going to want to take and this is where your yarn needle well your yarn needle should have been already came in but you're going to take a pretty long piece of yarn a black yarn and you're going to snip it and you're going to add it to your yarn needle and i want to show this also because it when you're done it is going to be a hole here and you're going to have to just just have to sew it up so i'm going to do it again just to show you how to sew it up how you how it looks is this just see yeah it's a little gap here so i'm going to do this side so you're just going to want to join in join and go into a particular part of the pillow make sure you leave an end tail there and you're going to want to go around and just go through the middle points and pull up to just make them tighter you're just going to sew it in basically and go through the very front ends and pull through and then go back to your very beginning and pull through oh that wasn't on camera let me show that again just go through the very peak portions and pull through now what you want to do is the end is still not secure so you want to pull it tight like that and it sort of closes now after that once it's closed what i like to do just to secure it more is I like to go in one side and go back out go in one side if it will let me go on one side and go back out the other and pull it taut and just to secure it a little bit more so I go in one side go back out the other just to make it tighter and that's how you close it you want to make sure you pull these make sure they're tight I would do it a couple of times just to make sure that this is tight and your um you want to make sure these sides are sort of pinched in some too um and then you can yarn off so what i like to do honestly to get rid of these strings i just go through the pillow pick a point probably pick the black a black point in it pick a point in the pillow just push it out pull it in and then yarn off um just to hide the string oh did i mess that up i'm just gonna yarn off here because i lost my string but you just want to make sure you do that i'm gonna yarn off these tails but when you're done yarn off just stick it in the pillow stick it back out cut it make sure it's in a black area that's not um 
that doesn't look it looks good but you're going to do this before you join the both sides together so once you've made both sides you have this side you have you're going to add your sides on like you added in your triangles. So all you would do again is you're gonna take your black yarn again, you're gonna take both sides of the pillow that you have, all your triangles are joined, all, all um, loose ends are stitched up. Now you just have both sides of your, your uh, thing. You wanna make sure, because they're gonna be bowed out spread them out as much as you can and place them together where both sides as you see both both sides are lined up white with you know make sure the red is lined up with the white and you're going to press both sides together and this time what you're going to do which i will show is instead of doing the single crochet you're going to half double crochet so i'm going to show you like this for a better understanding because you want to make sure just like let's just act like this is one side of the pillow and this is the other and it's joined okay so just forget about this little section let's just focus on this right now so what you would do is you would join your black yarn onto your 4.5 millimeter hook now this is both sides of the pillow what you're going to do is you're gonna go in, this is to join your your yarn on your um on the hook. You're gonna go in and you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull through and you're gonna single crochet just to join it. Okay. Then you're gonna chain two. Now I know that for a half double crochet you chain three, but because we don't want this to be gapped up because this pillow and the pillow stuffing will show I chain two just to make it um, a little smaller it's not the correct way of doing a double a half double crochet but it's how um, it's the amount of chains I make it just to make sure that it's not as gappy and then as you have your two pillow pieces you're gonna yarn over go through those the both sides of the pillow you're gonna yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three and you're going to join your pillow together with half double crochets all or all across and all around um the pillow so you're going to keep doing this now when you get to these parts the parts here well let me let me just get to it and i'll show you so we're doing half double crochet around the border to join both pillow sides together. One in the camera, I'm sorry. I move these. So now you're going to get to the point, you're going to get to those borders, these black borders, when you're joining your, um, these black borders when you're joining it in, what you wanna do is go into, let me see if I can get over there. What you wanna do is go into the black, so it's a little gap there. So you're gonna to wanna to go into the black portion. Yes, why is this giving me grief? Oh, I didn't close it off, okay. Well, let's just pretend. pretend. You're gonna go into that black right there, go into the black portion into one end. And of course it'll be lined up to where you're going into this end and this end. They're gonna be pressed together. Just make sure you go into the black and do a half double crochet just to like let it line up more. So you would go into, oh Lord, hold on. All right, let me explain that a little bit better. So now that you've gotten here, you're gonna have, that you've gotten here, you're gonna have both sides pressed up against one another. You've already got done with the white. Now when you get to the black, you're gonna wanna make sure because there's peaks at these points, you're gonna wanna make sure to go into the black 
go into just a loop in the black and then a loop, a loop in the black on one side and a loop in the black on the other side to pull one up and then half double crochet just to make sure it pushes down together. The only reason I stress this is because if you don't, there are gonna be gaps in your pillow. So essentially I explained that way, way too in depth, but I just wanted to make sure that when you're joining them together like this with the half double crochet, that when you get to the black, you wanna make sure that you go into the black on both sides very tightly, do your half double crochet just to make sure that it closes. You see in my border how there are no gaps on either sides. You just want to make sure that it's lined up and there's no way of, there's no gap at all. Just make sure that you go into the black and secure it before you um, complete your pillow. Now, like I said, I am. All right, now just to give you more insight into what I mean, I went ahead and made a second side to it. My cat wants to get back up, girl. Move. I'm doing stuff. Back up. Come on now. All right, so what I did was I had, I made two sides. So I have this side here that's three. I only made two just so you could see what I was talking about. But you see how, so let's just act like this is one side of your pillow. This is the other side. So what you're going to do is after you're done with everything, after you're done with everything, everything sewed off, you're going to have both pillow sides pressed together like this. And you're going to sew across here. Now, like I said, you're going to have the half double crochet. So you're going to go in. Ignore all the, the strings. You're going to go in, going to yarn over, pull up a loop and do a single crochet just to join it. And then you're going to chain two and you're going to start half double crocheting across. Oop. You're going to start half double crocheting across um, this. So make sure you're pulling it tight and taut tight like that and you're going to keep going across doing a half double crochet okay now I'm going to explain to you how to get and show you how to when you get to this point because this is really important like I tried to explain but I wanted to show you guys I'm going to hide these pieces so that it'll just be it'll look like that on both sides. So we're almost there. All right, now we're getting to the black. Now I have, you want to get to the black as closely as possible. So you saw I closed that gap. Now what you want to do with this is you want to go over and you want to go through that the first available stitch just reach your hook in and try to pick up whatever stitch is available in the black section right here then you're going to go to the next part or the other half this half please focus and you're going to go in to the black Part or the black stitch on the next side so you're going to go into the other black stitch just to make sure it lines up and you're going to pull through pull through all pull through everything and that's how you're going to join it so when you put it together it's going to look like that and it's going to join up directly that's all that I meant. I wanted to show just to make sure that you guys knew what I was talking about, but you want to make sure you go into the loops in black so that when it's done and it's all sewn together, that it's lined up and there is no gap at all. I am not completely satisfied with this project only because um, there are just tweaks about it. I know you can be your own worst critic, but this is what it looks like. 
I think it's cute, but I also think it looks like a, uh, what do you call it, a beach ball? But, I mean, it's cute, I guess. It is cute. I need to stop being so hard on myself. It is cute. I need to sew these in. But it is cute. I'm just not completely satisfied, and I don't like these little divots here that you can see. But I know if you push them out, you know, let me do the other side. I know if you push them out, you know, you really can't tell. But this is the redo of the Umbrella Corporation pillow. Now, like I said, if you have any, any questions or I confuse you at any point in this video, just send me a comment and I'll help you out from there. But I hope I was able to completely um, explain the proper way how to do this and also to show you visually how to do it. But um, thank you for visiting my channel. You will see the picture in the thumbnail. Um, if you like it, of course, make it. If you don't, I will be have other things coming out with the Umbrella Corporation. Just won't be a pillow, but that's all right. So, um, thank you for visiting my channel and I will see you very soon.